In the interest of time, uh, in the co-main event, Bellator 299, once again going down in Dublin, Ireland at the 3 Arena. In the featherweight division, Aaron Pico gets another dub, TKOing Pedro Carvalho in the first round, the official time, 3 minutes and 5 seconds. Omar, start us off this time. What are your thoughts on Aaron Pico winning again and winning impressively once again? Yeah, I mean, Aaron Pico is a scary, scary dude, man. I mean, in this fight, it didn't even really end up in a striking match, right? I mean, Aaron Pico immediately went for a takedown, tried to go for control, was beating on Carvalho while he was doing it. Um, and then once we got to a point where it just it just kind of seemed like Carvalho was drowning and he just and, and was drowning quickly um, and, you know, gave up. It put himself in a really bad position to take a lot of damage. Didn't look great doing it, right? Like, turtled up pretty hard. Basically went belly down. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it was it was wild. It, it, it was a great performance from Pico. Mark Pico with consecutive wins once again. Looked so impressive this time, getting the very tough and very talented Pedro Carvalho out of there in the first. What are your thoughts? Bro, he, he ran through Pedro Carvalho. I mean, he bullied him for every single second that that fight lasted. He still fights a bit wild. That That's the one concern I think there is when you consider Aaron Pico fighting like a Patricio Pitbull, mm -hmm. is that it, it does sort of still feel like he's there to be hit at, at times. Uh, but he does so many things so well. I, I mean, Pedro Carvalho didn't stand a chance of stopping a takedown. Anytime Pico wanted to, wanted to take him down, he literally just ran through him. Um, his boxing is beautiful, as always. He's always carried power. You saw the uppercut in this fight that freaking dropped Carvalho to start the finish. I mean, it's it's an obvious statement, but the future is still very bright for Aaron Pico. And that fight, in a little nutshell, showed you everything that, that you love about this guy. He's an elite wrestler. He's got nasty hands. He carries power. He's got finishing finishing instinct. It's It's a lot in a package for dudes to have to overcome. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Aaron Pico, still only 27 years old. Uh, for those who need to be reminded, he is a Bellator homegrown talent. Uh, he, in his career, let me pull him back up here. Where did it go? Aaron Pico, whatever his <clears throat> record is, the, he began at Bellator. Every single one of his pro MMA bouts have been under the Bellator banner. Bellator, Mark, I know that you don't maintain Bellator rankings. Maybe you should start at some point as well. We need those world rankings, buddy. We need those. We need those on my desk by Friday. <laughs> um, <laughs> Bellator ranks Pico in their featherweight division at number two behind Adam Borch and uh, Patricio Pitbull, who is the champion right now. What are your thoughts on what could be next for the young and dangerous Pico? Um, I know Patricio Pitbull is hurt. Um, he got surgery in July. I remember him saying that he was probably going to be out for six months, so we probably don't see him fighting until spring at the earliest. Uh, but it honestly works out okay, in my opinion, because I think that both Aaron Pico and Jeremy Kennedy have a claim to deserving a title shot, and now Pitbull's out, so you run that right back, in my opinion. We didn't really get to see that fight, of course, Pico's shoulder came out um mm -hmm. you can run it back now you can do it for an interim title even if you want to do it that way settle that and then the winner is waiting for the return of pitbull omar what are your thoughts i i like that i like that especially because of the way that fight ended that fight ended with the bullshit so mark do you have any thoughts on who could be next for pedro carvalho at 145 pounds at bellator i didn't i just did the winners um going forward at this point that's what i can try to think since you asked quickly um geez i'm not saying they haven't ranked I'm fifth i necessarily love here i mean i'd love to say kieran clark who are behind Mads Burnell. keeps winning but i don't think they want to they're really taking it slow with kieran clark so i'm not sure he's going to get that type of a jump um, Keone Diggs, I guess I'll I'll throw out. 